Do you ever get so excited about the fresh starts of the new year and you're setting all the goals and all the things you're going to change and what you're going to improve about yourself and then you start fizzling out by February? That is me to a T and that is why I started goal setting a little bit differently because I was so tired of not making progress towards my goals or I'd start working towards it and then real life would get in the way and by the end of the year I didn't feel like I had a lot to show for the number of goals that I had set at the beginning of the year. So that is when I came up with the six week sprint. It was my solution for this frustrating cycle and forever changed the way I set goals. And so that's what I wanna share in this video, my system plus a template that gives you just plug and play for all of your goals, all of your habits, so that you can finally achieve the dreams that you have been so hoping for. In a nutshell, this is goal setting that actually makes sense. But first, my name is Kaylin. I am a professional goal setter who turned into a practical goal getter. And I'm here to help you turn those someday maybe dreams into ones you can actually accomplish. If you wanna be on this journey with me and love self-improvement and mindful productivity and you love learning about Notion, that is what we talk about here. So make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. First of all, what is a six week sprint? It is really quite simple. You choose a goal or you choose a habit that you wanna focus on for the next six weeks and you just plug away at it. I think the beauty in the system is that shortened time frame because it's a little bit longer than a month. A lot of us set monthly goals and then we don't quite accomplish what we thought we would within a month. So we just need like a little bit longer. But then I also feel that the 90 days or the quarterly goal setters, the 12 week year, like I read that book and it was amazing. It made a lot of sense. But when I tried to insert my goals into the 12 week year, it was just way too long. I lost steam. I lost momentum. So six weeks is that perfect sweet spot to develop a habit that is actually going to become a habit or to chase an achievement or finish line based goal that you can look back on the last six weeks and say, I actually made progress. I actually checked it off my list. Some goals do take longer than six weeks. For instance, the book that I wrote about this entire system, which is very meta, it's Practical Dreamer. And you can, I'll leave a link below if you want to grab that because it doesn't just talk about this system, but it talks about like goal setting in general, the type of goals that you want to pursue, and then also gives you some motivational tips on how to maintain that momentum towards your goal. But that took me actually three six week sprints to actually like draft out the the book to then edit the book and make all the changes and then also to do the marketing and promotional campaign for it. So that's something that I think is really unique is you can break down the goal into separate milestone sprints if it was something really large that you were trying to go for. And that's not to say that I don't plan out yearly goals or quarterly goals. I do both but I use the six week sprint to achieve them because I have found that when I limit my focus to one goal for six weeks, you actually make a lot more headway than if you were trying to tackle multiple goals with an entire year timeframe. That is just way too long for most of us or even I would say all of us. So with the six week sprint, I have started an Etsy shop. I have created a recipe book. This was before I moved it into Notion. I wrote that book. I developed a capsule wardrobe. I moved email services. I rebranded a website. Like anytime I want to tackle a goal, I'm always using a six week sprint to do it because that's where I've found the most success. And other people that have also used this system have also found that success. Now, originally my six week sprint was a physical or digital goal planner. Like you could print off the PDF if you didn't wanna buy the actual physical copy and it came with my book, Practical Dreamer. But today I am excited to reveal that I have launched the six week sprint in Notion template form, which took a lot of functionality and behind the scenes tweaks to make sure that it would work well and it would be as automated for you as possible. So I'm going to go into Notion and show you what it looks like and show you how you would approach or tackle a six week sprint using this system inside Notion. 
Now I'm not gonna go over this template in like insane granular detail because I've already done that in a template video when you actually go ahead and buy the template. There's a whole instruction guide here that is going to have the video embedded here. It's still being edited. And then some onboarding instructions just to show you step-by-step -step how to use the planner along with some extra tutorials, frequently asked questions. And then something that people really loved with the Christmas planner is the ability to connect your own task database and your own other databases. So for here, like a daily journal database, if you've already built a daily journal with me here on YouTube, you're going to have that already. So there are some instructions to be able to connect that into the planner so that you don't have multiple databases in your workspace. You also get access to my Nerdy About Notion community. It is a premium community that you can only get in by taking one of my classes or buying one of my premium templates, but I am in there active and providing support and answering everyone's Notion questions. It's a lot of fun and we get to nerd out about Notion together. So I wanna make sure that when you buy my templates, you also have the support for them that you need. So on the main dashboard page, you're gonna have a navigation section that is going to take you through a life inventory. So let's say you weren't exactly sure what kind of goals you wanted to set and you just needed some guidance for that. This is going to help you go through each of these life areas give yourself a rating for them, and then provide some prompts to help you journal through and figure out what kind of goals do you want to set for this area of your life. And then you can brainstorm the six week sprint ideas down here and it will automatically add it into your six week sprint database as a whole. So that database is over here under the life inventory section and everything that you add will initially be under the not started category. And when you're ready to start it, you can just drag and drop it into the in progress category. And then when that is done, you can drag and drop it into the complete completed category. And I know that using the system, the completed section is going to fill up rather quickly. Like I'm so excited for you to use this and start accomplishing the things that you want to do. Any sprint that is in progress is going to show up under this current sprint section. So make sure you give your sprint a cover photo, a nice icon, and that is going to show you also the progress along the way of the amount of tasks that you have completed and what you have left to go based on that sprint. The current tasks section and current habit section. So every sprint is going to require some tasks, most likely. Some sprints may just require habits. Some may require a mix of both. You have templates to be able to do both of those. And here it's just gonna show you tasks across whatever, how many sprints you have they're gonna show here just for that current week. So it's not like everything, it's not overwhelming, just what you have to do this week. Now a note on that, because I have had the most success assigning one goal to one six week sprint. When I try to do two, that's when I don't make progress and I start falling behind. So you can, this is set up so you can do multiple sprints. You must start them and end them at the same time for the template to work correctly but I do recommend that you just try it just one at a time because you're gonna see a lot more progress that way. So we have some quick button actions over here that you can quickly add a sprint, add a sprint task, add a new calendar week or a new journal entry. Journal entries are how you're going to be tracking your habits for a sprint. This current week section is dynamically changing based on the week of the year that it is. And because it has a cover photo shown here, you may want to go in and add cover photos to all of your weeks. I'll just pop into the calendar week section and you can see that there are some already created here but not for the rest of the year because I don't know when you're seeing this video or when you're gonna download it. So you do need to add your weeks to this template, but you can easily click add a cover photo to add that cover. And the reason why I like seeing this here is because it shows this little week number of what week you're currently on so you know where you are in the six week sprint. Now in each of these sprints, that is like where the main stuff is happening, you can choose either just a regular sprint or a sprint with habits or a habit only sprint. So let's say you just wanted to focus on working out four times a week, four or five times a week, 
every single week for six weeks to make that a habit, you would choose a habit only template. But this entire template here guides you through how to do that. So this is associated with a life area. You wanna redefine the goal as an act goal. That's something that I talk about in my book, making sure it's actionable, clear, has a time trigger. There's a start and end date. So when you're starting the sprint, when you're ending the sprint, and then it tells you how many days you have left and the progress you are making based on the tasks under here and how many you have checked off. These instruction toggles around the template are gonna be so useful for you. They have check boxes so you can go step by step every time you're setting up a sprint so you don't miss anything. There's also a my why section, a potential roadblock section. These I think are really essential to fill out just because sometimes you lose motivation by week three or four or five and you need to be reminded of why you're chasing this goal in the first place or if you stumble across a roadblock or a challenge that you have already thought about what you might come across and a solution that you could do to negate that or make it a little bit better. The calendar weeks section are going to be your specific six weeks that you are going to choose when you set up this sprint here under this instruction toggle. And then you're going to select which week number it is. Now if this goes longer than six weeks if you feel like you're running a little bit behind the template does factor in up to eight weeks so you can always just click new down here or click add a new week up on this button and you can assign week seven or eight to it i just love this section of like let's celebrate pick something that you want to do or something that you want to buy i think it's so motivational and visual like a visual cue of what you're working towards i mean Accomplishing a goal like that is celebration in itself, but I really like to take the time to give yourself a reward of like, hey, yeah, I did that and I should be really proud of myself before just quickly moving on to the next thing. And we kind of already talked about this, your project tasks. Here's what's really cool about this template though, is if a task you didn't complete it in a specific week and you needed to move it to another week, you can just click the due date and change it to the next week and you see the week here updated and week number five, it moved from four to five. So that like kind of relieves some pressure too of you can always roll it over to the next week, but realize that you do have only six weeks to work on this. So it does make you want to prioritize this goal as much as possible and that's one of the magical elements i think of the six week sprint is because you do only have six weeks like every single week counts you also have another tab here called by week so if you wanted to look at your task list in a different way see how many things you had to do each week making sure that one week wasn't necessarily overloaded than the other that's just another way to view it if you need to add a habit section to the sprint, you can always just click this button and this habit section and weekly progress section will appear. Now this does take a little bit of time to set up because I don't know what habits you're gonna go for. I have no idea. So I have only had to name them like habit one through 10. And then these instructions are gonna take you through to set a target of how many times you wanna complete that habit per week and then show you how to rename the different properties, your habit, like across the different databases so that you make sure they are showing correctly. Because here it will show you how much you have completed that habit and then the progress that you have made. And so this is showing, it's not showing the progress because I don't actually have a target set for this H1. So let's just do that just so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to go into amount per week and let's say with this creating a capsule wardrobe sprint example that we are working on. I want to say that my target is I want to declutter every day for like 10 minutes or declutter five things a day. And I want to do this every single day for the six weeks. So my target per week is going to be seven. So I can go back into my capsule wardrobe and in the week of January 8th to the 14th, I clicked off that I did this habit number one twice. I decluttered this day, I decluttered this way, and so now it's saying two out of seven, I'm 29% of the way there. 
So that's just like a little insight in how it works. If that was a little confusing, do not worry. I go over this in great more detail in the actual template video once you grab the template. And then of course there's a review and reflect section because I think this is just really important to be able to highlight like what went well about your sprint. What did you enjoy? What did you learn? What lessons can you take away from this? What challenges did you face? Just to kind of wrap up your experience with this sprint before moving on to another one. So that is a brief overview of the six week sprint goal planner. If you think this would be really useful for you, if you already feel like you're falling a little behind in your goals this year, try something different. Try a different system. Don't abandon your goal entirely. Just try something new to be able to reach it. I think this is going to really reset your brain and reset your focus so that you can actually start checking those things off that you really wanted to do at the beginning of the year. So I will leave a link in the description below for you to grab that in my shop. And I just want you to know that whether you get that or not, I'm here to help you succeed. That's why I publish these free videos on YouTube that teach you how to build things in Notion, teach you my favorite productivity tips, my routines and just habits and how to organize them in the best way possible. And I really think that even if you just took one of your goals for this year and just really went hardcore focus on it for six weeks, you're gonna see a lot more progress than you have before. I'd love to chat with you in the comments about what goals you're setting for this year, how you feel like you're going, if you're grabbing this template, what you think of the whole six-week sprint system, and I will catch you in the next video.